coal-based sponge iron plant, temperature of the kiln-based gases stays between 850 and 950 degrees Celsius. The clean gases are let out into the atmosphere through a chimney with the help of an induced draft fan. Waste heat recovery boiler-based power plant is an increasingly popular way to recover thermal energy from waste gases. With 200 tons per day kilns, about 3.5 to 4 megawatts of power can be generated. For the recovery of thermal energy, each kiln needs one waste heat recovery boiler of 10 tons per hour capacity. To understand the power generating process, let us consider a 4 megawatt power generating unit. The rotary kiln generates waste or flue gases. The gases then enter the boiler. The boiler is a bi-drum water tube structure. The gases enter a superheater and then a set of boiler bank tubes. In these tubes, they transform into steam and then enter the water drums inside the tubes. Following this process, the gases cool down to about 180 degrees Celsius. Now they enter a bare tube economizer. An ID fan takes care of the gas draft losses in the system. The steam turbine is of multi-stage horizontal spindle condensing type turbine. The turbine has a gear unit capable of continuously transmitting the necessary power and is designed for speed reduction ratios for the turbine. The unit may consume the power partly and evacuate the rest into the state grid. A WHRB based power plant is suited for a DRI plant of 100 TPD module and above. In case the power generated is not utilized completely, it will be a loss as it cannot be stored and the generation should be reduced accordingly. WHRB based power plants also require adequate water supply on a continuous basis. The estimated cost to set up a 4 megawatt power generating unit including an FBC boiler is approximately 27.6 crore rupees. 4 megawatt of power per hour implies 96,000 kilowatt of power per day. After consumption, power evacuation to grid is 19.32 gigawatt hour per year. Annual income from evacuated power at the rate of 2.8 rupees per kilowatt hour is 5.4 crore rupees per year and monetary saving due to captive power use is 4.62 crore rupees per year. Thus, the total monetary saving due to installation of the power plant works out to around 10 crore rupees a year. Thus, the investment can be recovered within a period of nearly three years.